First off, where are you right now? I'm at a hotel um, just, just outside of Boston University. Okay, so are, you have started your freshman year? Yeah. Okay, so um, what, what's it like? What are the, what are the emotions? Oh, I'm lo like right now from, from the draft or from? Yeah, from the draft. Oh, yeah. Well, if you've got other emotions, we can talk about them later, but right now the draft. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I got, I got so many emotions flowing through me right now. Um, obviously, I'm super excited and super stoked to hear my name get called by, by the Blues. Um, it was a long day. Um, but I couldn't be happier with what uh, the outcome was. How did you get into uh, hockey gear? You're from Northern California and not, not a hotbed. What was it? What, what was your start? Uh, kind of funny. Yeah. So I was born in California. I only lived there for a couple months and my dad moved my family um, out to Taiwan overseas, actually. Um, and I lived there until I was four four closing in on five and then he moved us back uh, to Calgary and that's where I started my dad was always a hockey fan and but up until about the ages of four or five I hadn't even seen like snow or ice or anything like that because I was overseas in Taiwan but um, when I got back home my dad threw me right into hockey right into, right into a pair of skates. What does your dad do? Uh, my dad's a civil engineer. Cool and, and so you speak Chinese? Uh, it's funny, actually. I mean, the first school I ever went to was a, a school in Taiwan. Um, so I actually did at one point speak fluent Mandarin. But when we moved back home to Calgary, my mom stopped putting me in classes. So it's gone. Not a lick. Nothing anymore. Huh. That's disappointing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dylan, um, it says on your uh, NHL bio that uh, you model your game after uh, Joe Thornton. Is that a fair assessment or is there somebody else in mind that uh, you like to model yourself after? I'd say I'd, I love Joe Thornton, one of my favorite players growing up. Um, but I'd say someone who's closer and like relatively to how I play, I'd say somebody like a Blake Wheeler, um, a big, strong, power forward guy, um, someone like that. I'd say a Blake Wheeler more than a Joe Thornton. But so, so what have you been doing since the since March when everything stopped? What have you been doing to stay in shape and stay in your game? Yeah, for the first part of it, it was a lot of just indoor workouts house workouts stuff like that um and then when the ice opened back up and then gym started opening back up i spent a lot a lot of time um getting as much ice as i could um and getting in the workout room as much as i could um because i knew i needed it especially coming to coming into this year which is a huge year right so um i focused once once those things started opening up i focused most of my time um to that dylan did you have any expectations of maybe kind of a thought in mind when you might go or get picked or is that just kind of one of those where you just have to kind of wait and see I guess yeah I mean for the most part from from what I understood before coming into the draft today was uh, I was a, I was a wild card and then you know uh hoping maybe second so someone in the third pretty much anywhere but at that point um I was just hoping for rather than the highest pick. Rather, uh, I was hoping more for what team was uh, what team I was going to be picked by, and, and when St. Louis um, called my name, that yeah, I put a smile right in my face. So um, I didn't really have too many expectations on what what pick, but more what team. So did you? You said you're you're you came back from Taiwan and you went to Calgary. Yeah. So how much time have you actually spent in the United States? Um, after, Ca after Calgary, um, I lived in Colorado for four years. Um, and then after that to Ottawa. So more of your life outside of the United States than inside the United States. Yeah. Do you feel American? Oh yeah. I mean, I chose the national team development program for a reason. Um, I think deep down, I, like, I think I am American. I was born in California um, and I bled those colors for two years. Um, I love the US and I'd say I'm American for sure. Guys, let's do uh, two more for uh, Dylan real quick. So, Dylan, what are your what are your plans here moving forward? Obviously, you know every every prospect wants to make the NHL team as quick as they can. Uh, but what are your expectations, uh, and and what do you feel like you need to do as far as the work you want to put in to try to get here as quick as possible? Yeah, I think um, for me, it's mostly going to be I'm um, in the weight room. I'm gonna I'm gonna put on a lot of muscle over this next year. Um, it's, it's something that me and my trainers are really, really focused on. Um, so over this next year, I'm going to get, you know, I think I'm, I think I'm, uh, as tall as I'm going to get, but I think I'm going to put on a lot more weight. I'm going to get stronger on my feet. Um, and just those little things. And I think it's going to help the transition. 
um, to, to the next level. Um, it's going to make it a lot easier. So this next year is going to be really huge for me in the weight room and, and, and getting bigger. Dylan, we've seen so many national team development program guys drafted today. What, what did the program do for you? Program was on, it was, it was the best time of my life. Um, it was the best thing for me. Um, it, it, it brought me from a youth hockey player going in um, to somebody that has a shot at playing professional hockey one day. Um, and I, I owe a lot to, to the coaches there, um, particularly Seth Abbott um, and our trainers like Brian Gallivan. I, I owe a lot to them because they, they changed me as a, as a hockey player. And then outside of the coaching staff, the people that are in that um, organization changed me as a person as well. So I owe a lot to the program and, and um, I, you know, I love everyone over there. So can you describe your game for uh, Blues fans that want to get to know you? Uh, what, what, what is it about your game that you feel like uh, can stand out and, uh, and contribute to the NHL level? I think I am a two-way defenseman who play the puck uh, very well and uh, play physical and uh, can make some uh, good plays in the uh, offensive, offensive, offensive soon as well. Uh, Leo, uh, where are you right now and what time is it? Uh, I am in the core <laughs> and uh, the clock is uh, 21 a.m. Uh, what city are you in? Kolsta, Sweden. Okay. And, and, and does your, your last name have umlauts over both O's? Can you repeat? <laughs> does your name... The, the O's in your last name, you have dots over both of them, umlauts? Yeah, I do. So, so how does that, how do you pronounce your last name then? Love. Love? Love. <laughs> um, uh, lots of Swedes on the blues. Uh, do you follow any of them? Uh, no, I, I don't know, actually. Um, what are your plans going forward? I repeat. What are your What are your plans going forward after now that you've been drafted? Uh, I'm going to play with uh, Paris Beko. How long do you think it would take you to be ready for the NHL? Uh, I'm going to train. But, uh, wait, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, I'm going to to train very hard uh, every day and uh, try to come to St. Louis and play in NHL. I don't know uh, when, but uh, I'm going to compete every day and tra train as hard as I can. So I hope uh, someday I play for St. Louis, of course. Let's uh, let's do two more for Leo so he can uh, go back and join his brother. Go ahead, Leo. Is your brother with you? I'm sure he is. What, what was that moment like when you were drafted? And now I guess you're going to sit around and, and hope to share that same moment with him. I think it's very special. He supports me every day and I support him. So it's very special, of course. Which one of you is better? <laughs> He's forward and I'm defenseman, but I, I should say me. Uh, so, so right now, where are you? Uh, I'm in my basement. In uh, are you in in Sioux right now? Uh, no, I'm in my house at Perrysburg in Perrysburg, Ohio. Okay. Um. So, um, what were you expecting out of today, and uh, how delighted are you with how it worked out? Um. Obviously, I was looking forward to it. I wasn't trying to think about it too much, so I was trying to keep myself busy. Um. But I'm really excited right now to be with the St. Louis Blues. Um. I'm happy and I'm excited to work hard for the organization and do what I can. So what, what were you doing to keep yourself busy? Um, I was playing pickleball earlier with my dad and a couple of my friends. And then uh, I was trying to stay outside. So you weren't following online as the draft went on? Um, I was a little bit, but I actually ended up getting a text and um, from, one, from one buddy I know who plays hockey. So um, I was kind of not, not sure what that was about. And then I got a couple more and then I, I looked at it and then I saw. So it's got to, got to be a fun text to look at to see that you've been drafted. Yeah. So uh, from where you are in Ohio, are you a were you a Blue Jackets fan? What's your where do your affinities lie? Um, I was a Penguins fan. 
Um, I like Sidney Crosby, so growing up, I followed him a lot. It looks like speed is one of your forte. It's one of the things you're best at. Is that kind of the, the highlight of your game right now? Yeah. Did, is it fun being a fast, uh, a fast hockey player? Um, yeah, I think so. I think it helps me with a lot of things, with defending guys and creating offense in the offensive zone and the neutral zone. Where would you say development-wise, I mean, in the rest of your game, what do you, what do you, need, to, what do you need to work on or look at? Um, I think my overall strength and my size, which I think I did a really good job this summer. I ended up putting on 24 pounds of muscle, so I feel a lot faster and stronger on the ice, so I'm excited for this next season. As I say, you're listed as 150 pounds, but but what are you now? Uh, 169. Oh. And I think there's room for more? Uh, yeah, I, I do think so. Did it make you faster, or did it affect your speed in any in any way? Um, yeah, I do feel quicker. You know, I don't think I slowed down at all from it. I think it was all good weight. Good. What do you know about the Blues? Um, I know they play a good, responsible game, and um, – Guys make good plays and smart decisions. Cool. Um, when, so when, what's your future hold? When do, does the OHL have a start date yet or what's, what's ahead? Um, yeah, we're shooting for December 1st start. So um, our camp will be about mid-November. So what, what did you do to put on all that weight? Um, I tried to put myself to a challenge to eat five meals a day and two protein shakes. Okay, five meals a day. What 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 kind of stuff were you eating? Um, a lot of chicken and rice and steak and things like that. Uh, potatoes, um, a lot of rice and steak though. So is it breakfast and a meal, lunch and a meal, and then dinner, or how did you space them out? Um, so I'd I'd have breakfast before my workout in the morning, and then um, I'd usually go to a diner after my workout before a skate, and then I'd get food after the skate, and then eat either two or three more times throughout the day, and. Um, I'd had a good amount of time to do that, so. Okay. Well, um, how much, another couple of years of, uh, of junior hockey ahead of you before going pro? Yeah. All right, guys, let's do a couple more for uh, uh, Tanner here. Um, what do you like outside of hockey? Um, I like swimming, um, being outside. Um, I like playing lacrosse, pickleball, basketball, um, just a lot of activities um, that get me moving around a little bit. Did you ever play lacrosse competitively yeah. in like, um, high school? Or... Yeah, it well, wasn't super competitive, but um, I played it for fun, and I thought it was good for me to keep in shape and things like that. Cool. All right. Any other great stories? Uh, I don't have any. <laughs> well, well thank you tanner thank you all right guys thanks tanner welcome and, and congrats to you today bud thank you thanks tanner bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.